Uh, so the first one is, uh, is it true that China started to give for students student support work visa? The answer is yes. Now students can work in China legally. But recently, we found out China has started allowing students to work. They've come up with a new type of visa for students called the student support visa. Now this visa allows students to work. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another exciting edition of Business Connect. Today I'll be doing a reaction video and I'll be talking about these two videos. Two of them are talking about how students can now work in China. But you know, when I see news like this, I like to do my analysis. I like to do my findings to know how true, how feasible can this be. So if you're watching us for the first time, this is Business Connect. Here we talk about students' life in China. We talk about how experts survive in China. Generally, we bring you news about things happening here in China. So if you're watching us for the first time, consider to hit that subscription button so that each time we bring interesting videos like this, YouTube will notify you and you'll be the first to watch our videos. So usually I like to just screw along my YouTube feeds and then just see what other YouTubers are talking about. Then I stumbled on this video. This guy was talking about how students can now work in China. Then I'm like, I've not heard about this. This cannot be true. Then I went to do my research. I was doing findings. I didn't see anything official about that. Then a few days later, I saw this other girl. She's a YouTuber too. She was saying the same thing. I'm like, and then the coincidence was that both of them are from the same city. So the information that they were giving was kind of matching. They were saying the same thing. I'm like, okay, there is no smoke without fire. Then I started doing my research to find out how true can this be? And I'm going to explain all of that in this video. You know, there is something in China that if you've stayed in China, you must have observed this. Before anything goes official, before a law is passed, before it goes viral and official, it is somehow tested in some cities for example the, the current law now about foreign teachers about uh, the teaching of english it has been tested now in some cities like six or seven cities and after some maybe one or two years it will now be nationwide and that is how a lot of laws are passed in china first they are tested in some cities and then later on they will get the feedback from the people from the community and then it goes nationwide so in the course of doing my research and my findings i found out that this student support visa thing is like in a pilot stage it has been tested in some cities and the students who are in jiangsu province have already proven through these two videos that the student support visa is already been tested in jiangsu province and we've had students from tianjin who've also testified that it's been tested also in Tianjin and another student from Chengdu has also proven or has also responded that this is also being tested in Tianjin and there is one thing about some of these laws you will say that oh but we have not seen anything official about this some of these laws if you don't go to find out if you don't walk up to your university to tell them oh I heard about this I want to try it you won't even know that there is something going on about that when I heard about, when I watched the video from Andrew, I went to the message section and I asked him, yo guy, I've not seen anything about this. Then he told me, put your ears on the ground. And that is how China is. There are a lot of things that can be going on. And if you're not aware, you won't ever know. Unless you go and try to find out, then you will be told what to do. Okay, so after doing all my research and findings, I'm going to explain the process from step one to step seven, how you can follow it keenly. Remember, you might do it up to from step one to step three, and you realize that you can't continue. You might do it from step one to step six, and step seven is not successful. So you want to follow up each of the steps slowly to see if this can work for you. So the first thing to do is find a job. That's the first thing. Go online, find a job. Now, when you get this job, first thing, or second thing, you need to find out from this company if they are able to hire foreigners. Not all companies in China have the legal rights to recruit foreigners. That's one thing that a lot of people don't know. And 
the funniest thing i found out in one of my videos that even some of these companies they don't know that they don't have the legal right to recruit foreigners legally some of them have the legal right to recruit two foreigners some of them have the legal right to recruit three four five or six foreigners depending on their the, the operation capacity of this company okay now after finding out if this company has the legal right to recruit foreigners you get a job offer from this company and you take this job offer to your university to get a permission to work and this is the process and this is how the permission will be given the university will look at your timetable to see if you have time to work Maybe you finish all your courses, you just left with internship, you just left with your research. So the university will look at your timetable. If you have time to work, the university will look at your results, your transcript to see if you're a good student. The university will look at your behavioral record to see if you have, if you're a good student. Now, if these three things are okay, you have time to work, you have a good transcript and you're a good student. Now they will give you a permission to work. Now you have two documents, you have the job offer, you have the permission from your university to work. So now you have two documents, now what's the next step? You take the job offer and the permission from your university to a government office where you, you should find out from your city where this government office is. When you take these two documents now, the government office will give you a, a license to show that you have the, the capacity to apply for a student work permit so now you have three documents in your hand your job offer your permission from your university and the permission from the government office now you take these three documents to the immigration office and now you apply for a student work or for a student support visa now it will depend on how long your university has approved you to work maybe six months maybe one year depending on your work schedule depending on your school program, depending on how long the job offer will last. Now the immigration office will give you a student support visa. Now you have your student support visa. Now you are ready to work. But there are a lot of things, there are a few things that you need to consider before you start working. The first thing, you have to work following the timetable that the company has given you. You have to work only in that company, not in other companies and you have to work only within the stated period of time that the student support work visa is showing. If you go anything above this or out of this, you are doing it illegally and you are liable to have a fine of up to 20,000 RMB. I know a lot of students who have been working illegally, illegally and if caught, you're liable to face a jail term, you'll be detained and you face and you might pay a fine of over 20,000 RMB. So the fact that you have the work permit or the student support visa, it doesn't mean that you can jump and just work wherever you want. So from our findings, we found out that Jiangsu is given, which we have seen proof. Someone commented on the video that Tianjin is given and Chengdu is given. Now let me know in the comment section below, if you're watching us from a city in China, please let us know if you're in a city and if that city is also providing this service. It is from such videos that we, that students get information and then they go try out. So why not try out your log to see if your city or your school or your university is permitting the student support visa. So thanks to these two YouTubers who made me do this video. You can check out their channel. They do the same content like me. They talk about life in China, how students su survive in China. I'm also going to leave a link to their channels at the description box. So you want to check out whatever they're doing. Thanks to them, I'm doing this video. And if you're watching us and you're not yet subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscription button, join us in the channel so that each time we do videos like this, you'll be notified and you'll be the first to watch our videos. Until now, we peace out. I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.